guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sweets. Welcome back to another Friday Fixes episode where you ask me your kick questions and I do my best to answer them for you. Now today's episode is gonna be a good one. I got a question, I think a couple weeks ago and actually like a lot of people have been DMing me um, about this for a while now and it's about business insurance. They wanted to know what are my thoughts on it? Do I have it? Do I recommend it? Um, what is it even and how do you get it? How does it work? All of that good stuff. So if you want to learn everything I have to say about this, then keep on watching. So a lot of you guys might know this, but for those of you guys who are newer to the channel, you may not, but a couple of years ago, I made a cake for someone who completely hated it. I'm talking about hated it, okay? And threatened to sue me. Sue me. Over cake, y'all. Like, it was a hot mess. Now, mind you, I had just started out my business. I didn't know anything about anything. Okay, in her defense, the cake I made for her was a hot mess, okay? And I knew it wasn't the best thing because it didn't look anything like the picture, but it kind of was similar enough that I was like, eh, maybe she won't care. So I bring it over to her and she looked at it. She's like, what's that? I'm like, it's your cake. She's like, no, it's not. <laughs> so we were going back and forth. I decided to offer her the cake for free and then offer her another cake at a later date. She was nice enough. Actually, her husband was nice enough to calm her down and then not go ahead and sue me over this. Um, and yeah, needless to say, I don't think she's coming back for that free cake because it's been, it's been about seven years now. So yeah, she's not coming back. This whole ordeal like literally traumatized me. I almost quit. Like I almost quit baking altogether. In the beginning, when I first started out even now like y'all probably think I'm like rolling in money I'm not um shocker I didn't have any money you guys like first of all I didn't even charge her enough for this cake so not even the money of this cake would have paid for court fees and all the hoopla that I would have had to go through so this really opened my eyes so I implemented three things so the first thing I implemented is first of all never make a cake that you know for a fact you cannot deliver okay number two get a contract because I didn't have a contract if she went to sue me she would have won the third thing is to get business insurance now let me back up for a second right we're gonna talk about business insurance in general whether you have a bakery or um, you know a plumbing business like you're a daycare provider whatever it is that you do let's talk about um you know insurance in general so in layman's term what does it mean if ish hits the fan you don't have the money to pay for it out of pocket this company will give you the money for that but in exchange to that for that you need to pay them a premium amount every single month just like any insurance works right your car insurance if you get into an accident it covers it um, your home insurance if you should get a flood god forbid or a fire it covers it so the same thing goes for your business in the event of a bad thing happening and you need money that could probably bankrupt you or you need to you know borrow money for get a loan for use a credit card for you have the insurance to back you up so do i recommend getting business insurance absolutely just like i would recommend getting any kind of insurance you should do it okay just do it you never know now as far as what i personally use um, I use this company called Next Insurance. They're really awesome. They focus on small businesses, which is really great. Um, whatever you do, actually, it's not just um, it's not just uh, bakeries. Like they focus on everything else. Like if you're a carpenter, you're an electrician, you know, a plumber, whatever it is like, that you do, they have insurance for you. Now, the one thing that always threw me off, right? Whenever I was thinking about business insurance, is I didn't know how much I was gonna pay, and I thought it was gonna be this hassle thing, right? Like it was gonna be super complicated to use and you didn't know what you needed and they were gonna like rip you off and sell you all these crazy add-ons that you don't need. And also I was afraid that like, you know when you go to buy something and they're like, oh, you have like a three year warranty. And then when you need the warranty, they're like, oh, but that's not covered. Oh, but that's not covered. Oh, but that's not covered. Well, the good thing about Next, which is why I went with them is all of those worries like went away to begin with the price it was really inexpensive like it really might surprise you how much you might pay for business insurance like i honestly thought i was gonna pay this crazy amount because you think like oh business insurance it's crazy no honestly it's less than my car insurance okay i'll just say that um so that's that like depending on like what you do you might save up to 30 percent so 
go ahead and like check check them out to see if you you know if the price is like fitting for you the next thing I really liked about them is how easy it was to use honestly 10 minutes that's all it took to get a quote and they don't ask you like an arm and a leg you know like give your birth certificate and a vial of blood here and sign here and do this here like no it wasn't that hard at all you go through and then you answer a couple questions all right let me show you real quick because i feel like i'm talking about it it'll be easier for you to see what i'm talking about all right let's see if i can open it up on my on my computer here okay so the first thing you see when you open up your screen is their home page right and then you can go ahead and get a quote if you want to so let me click on that get a quote so it gets you um, onto a page that has like five little bullets at the top and honestly that's all it takes like five pages and then you're able to purchase your insurance and get covered and all that and as you can see the pages are really not that long so all it asks is like what type of business you do what state you live in like your name your number uh, you know your phone number your address you know the address of the business and it didn't ask that that many crazy questions it just asks you like what you need and then you're covered. Um, the other thing is, which was really cool about them, if I can go back here for a second, um, you can print out a certificate, okay? As soon as you're covered, you can print out your certificate. The really cool thing about having business insurance, as I told you guys, is the fact that you kinda can boast about it a little bit. It gives you an advantage, right? It's unfair, but it really does. If you lead with your insured, you know you're an insured business people think, tend to think well you know what you're talking about you know what you're doing you're a legit business you're not just kind of like the shady person doing this on the side right so the really awesome thing about having the certificate is if you have a storefront you could probably a little paste it over there like we're insured you know or um, you know show it to your customers I don't know what you want to do with it put it in your bedroom whatever you know um, so yeah so it's really cool that you can get your certificate right away, right on the spot. And you can print out unlimited certificates later on, which is really awesome. Um, they also have a section where you can see like what they cover, um, you know, their coverages. They have um, all different types of one. Look at that. Business insurance, general liability, workers comp. So if you have employees, you need workers comp, you can go ahead and do that. If you have cars for delivery you know like let's say your business is really big and you want to like start buying cars that you want to do kick deliveries in then maybe you could cover those cars with that um they have awesome like so many things all right the other thing is the support section now you can go ahead and talk to someone over the phone if you prefer or you can do everything online which i really like either online on a computer or over your phone god forbid something happens and you need to file a claim i know we have insurance but we never want to file a claim like because you never want something bad to happen however if you know something does happen and you need to file a claim it's so easy that was the other thing that scared me because i didn't know you know how filing a claim would be like would they like be like oh we don't cover that we don't cover that but no when you talk to somebody they explain all of that to you like it's super easy a really simple process i've never had to file a claim thank god um but if i needed to it's like right at my finger fingertips fingertips um, so yeah, and then you can also read about them, read their stories if you'd like to, all that good stuff. Now, once you create, um, you know, an account, you have a user ID, um, and you'll have a password and then you can go in and change it around, what, do whatever you want to do. For whatever reason, you're not satisfied, you found something better, you can go ahead and cancel, which I really love the fact that they did that because you know that they're gonna stick to what they promised to deliver. They're gonna stand by their word. They're gonna put their money where their mouths are um, because they know that you can cancel at any time and obviously they don't want that. So with all of that being said, if you want to try out Next, um, you can go ahead and click in the description box below. Uh, I will leave all their information, how you can you know, get a quote and all that stuff right down below. And, and then let me know if you enjoy it because I'd really like to, you know, I like to um, know that what I recommend to you guys, you enjoy. Um, so let me know. So with all of that being said, I hope this video was informative. I hope it cleared fusion that you may have had, some doubts that you may have had.
when it comes to business insurance. I hope it gave you a little bit more clarity and that now you're equipped to make a better decision for your company. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it would really mean the world to me if you would subscribe to the channel because I am going to make a new video every single Friday for you guys. One's going to be a Friday fixes. Another one is going to be like a decorating type of video. Um, and yeah, so this is it for this week's video. You guys, I love you. I'll talk to you next time. So honestly, you guys, if you're stuck trying to decide if you need business insurance, I'm going to tell you yes, okay? To answer that question, you need it. You need it, just get it. We have a new background today. How are we feeling about this? Is it cool? No? You like it? You like the office better? What do you think? Let me know.